Hi, my name is Kyle Wilkie. I'm an engineering technician with the District of Lake Country, and today I'm going to show you a standard irrigation uh, meter setup that we're doing in conjunction with our universal metering program. So, this is a seasonal irrigation connection, and what you'll see first coming out of the district side standpipe is an ultrasonic water meter. Uh, the ultrasonic meter goes to the properties that are eight acres and greater or have water rights of eight acres and greater. This is a non-mechanical meter that uses sound waves to measure the velocity of the water traveling through the pipe and then it can tell you the volume of the water that's moved through it. The other new thing that you'll notice that's new to an irrigation setup is the backflow preventer. Uh, the backflow preventer, basically what it does is once water has passed through it, there is no longer you can have water go in the reverse direction. So if anything, if we had to shut down our water main or anything like that, no water could be siphoned from the private side back into the public side. So this is a, a positive displacement mechanical meter. So all the properties less than eight acres will receive this style of water meter. And it actually has mechanical parts that move in it. And one of the reasons that once you hit the eight acres threshold, we go to a ultrasonic cell meter is because the moving parts inside can start to get damaged if they go over a, a certain flow range. The ultrasonic meter, it actually sends a sound wave across to a receiver on the opposite side of the meter. And so depending on the speed of the water and where it, the sound wave hits the receiver, it can tell the volume of water that's traveling through the meter itself.